Hey YouTubers, Buster Gundel here. Today's date is November the 2nd, 2018. Today I want to discuss the topic of men or males having long hair. Now you may be asking yourself, why has he chosen to, to discuss this now? Or what brought this about? I'll give you the short of it. I was watching a video recently on YouTube about a man who has been growing his hair out for a little while now. He discussed how black culture doesn't like their males to grow their hair out. And I can say I definitely agree with him on that. As a guy trying to grow his own hair out now, I've barely ever, I've never had the chance to grow my hair out like I wanted it to be. I want to have long hair, at least shoulder length. I know I can do it if I let my hair grow. However, I've been constantly cut blocked by family members and other people of the community saying, oh, when are you going to cut your hair? When are you going to fix your hair? Oh, your hair looks nappy. Oh, go get your hair cut. Apparently, a certain person in the family has a tendency to at least once or twice a month bug me about getting my hair cut. Now, back in the day, it, the prices of haircuts have gone up. Some places would charge you $12, then they jumped up to 14 then they jumped up to 15 I had a situation, I had a deal with my barber where I would pay 15 bucks, But now... The price jumped from 15 to 20. Now, to those of you who have a job or a steady source of income, you can say, oh, 20 bucks isn't nothing. Well, to a person who barely makes any money during the month, $20 is a lot of money. $20 is 400 cans and bottles at a nickel a piece. Yeah, so what frustrates me personally about this situation is that even if the person in question pays for it, you're paying for something that's going to grow back in a matter of a month. I could be using that $20 for something I actually want to put that 20 bucks towards. Heck, it's November. The most annoying holiday of the year is coming up, and it's trying to come really fast. I've been cock-blocked pretty much this whole month. And with these haircuts once a month, I used to have to go twice a month due to being forced to, but I tried to get it down to once a month. Last month, I just narrowly avoided a haircut because no kind of events came up that month. This month, however, apparently there's an event coming up real soon and women get their hair done for pretty much any event that comes up or any major holiday that comes up. And what pissed me off the most about this is that when I told the person in question that I, I, I've tried to imply that I want to grow my hair out, but I keep getting this cock block auto cock block response. Men or males don't grow their hair out. That's a female thing to do. Only females grow their hair out long. Oh, you're not Moses. You can't grow your hair out like that. And I want to say this. I'm going to I'm going to steal it from Family Guy. Bull crap. I used to have a teacher in 7th grade. Mr. Jennings, he was one of the only black guys, besides my other teacher, Mr. Ebbs, the only two guys I knew in my entire existence that grew their hair out long. Only two. And they were two black guys, mind you, that grew their hair out to shoulder length. I don't see why. 
mothers have so much power. I don't see why females have so much power on this damn planet. They shouldn't. They didn't earn shit. They barely do shit their entire lives. Yes, they pop out crotch turds, a.k.a. babies, but that's about it. They can grow their hair long or cut it short, and nobody will bat an eye to it. Guy grows their hair out long, oh, you gotta cut it. Why? Why do I want to look like 96% of the black population on the planet? Why do I want to look like all the other males on the planet with, dirt, with short or no hair at all? Anyway, I might make a part two to this depending on how fired up I get or if I get any good responses, I may respond to them. But for now, Buster Gundo signing off. Be safe, be smart, be sneaky. Because what great things are done in darkness come to light eventually.